Commutators are the devices that connect a motor to the electricity supply, and it also helps in changing the direction in which the current flows in the circuit. Nikola Tesla made certain new and useful improvements in commutators of dynamo electric machines. Let's explore that. Come along. But before that, I have something special for you. Are you ready to upgrade your engineering game? At JLCMC.com, the world's fastest growing mechatronic components marketplace, the most in-demand products are just a click away from precision linear actuators, ball screws, and timing pulleys, to couplings, aluminum profiles, and industrial bearings. JLCMC is the go-to source for makers, engineers, and manufacturers worldwide. Need something fast? Over 600,000 parts are in stock and ready to ship in 24 hours. And every part comes with free 2D, 3D CAD downloads. No delays, no guesswork. And here's the best part. New users get up to $70 in coupons instantly. That's right, quality components plus real savings from day one. Don't waste time searching a dozen sites. Get everything you need faster, cheaper, and smarter at jlcmc.com. Sign up now, grab your $70 welcome bonus, and start building smarter. Tesla's objectives of the invention were to avoid sparking and the gradual wearing away of the commutator segments and collector resulting therefrom, to obviate the necessity of readjustment of the commutator or the brushes or collector and other consequences of the wear of the same to render practicable the construction of very large dynamo electric machines and motors with the minimum number of commutator segments, to increase the safety and reduce the cost of the machine. Now, we will see how Nikola Tesla achieved these objectives through a unique design of commutator. First, we will see the collector designed by Nikola Tesla. The collector is formed of two metallic quadrant segments and two insulating quadrant segments of the same dimension. The insulating segments are made of some hard materials, like marble, which are capable of being polished, and they are formed with sharp edges. The metallic segments are made of copper, but they may have a face of durable material, such as platinum, where the sparks are liable to occur. The four quadrant segments are bound together by an insulating band, and the bearing surface of the collector is the face of a disc, which should be smoothed off so that the metal and the insulating segments are flush. There is also a sleeve of insulating material, to which the metallic quadrants are fixed by screws. Now, we will see the commutator designed by Nikola Tesla. The commutator is designed exactly in the same way as the collector. That is, the commutator is just a copy of the collector. The commutator and the collector are mutually adapted to one another and are alike in mechanical structure. Now we will see how this commutator and collector are connected in a dynamo electric machine. First, we will see the connections for an armature with a single coil having two free ends. The two free ends of the coil are passed through the shaft. The commutator is fixed to the armature by a screw in such a manner that rotation of the armature causes the commutator to turn upon the collector. Now, the two free ends of the coil are connected to the commutator segment and there are two conductors connected to the collector segment for conveying the current. The end of the sleeve of the collector is closed by a plate upon which presses a pivot pointed screw. This screw is adjustable and spring, which acts to maintain the collector in close contact with the commutator. It also compensates for the play of the shaft. To prevent the collector from rotating with the shaft, an arm is attached to the collector. This arm has a clamping screw. This clamping screw is adjusted and set to the desired position on a slotted plate, which is fixed on a stationary support. The insulating segment of both the commutator and the collector are fitted loosely, and light springs are attached to the bands to exert a light pressure upon them. These light springs keep the insulating material in close contact and also compensates for the wear. The metal segment of the commutators may be moved forward by loosening the screws by which it is fixed to the shaft. Now, we will see the working of the commutator designed by Nikola Tesla. First, 
Let us install two permanent magnets so that a magnetic field can be created around the coil of the armature. Now, when the electricity supply is given, the current flows to the commutator through the collector and the armature starts rotating. For better understanding, we name the collector segments as A, B and commutator segments as C, D. We can see that for the first half rotation, segments AC and segments BD are in contact. For the second half rotation, segments AD and segments BC are in contact. Thus, we can see how this commutator changes the direction of current in the coil. In this way, Nikola Tesla was successful in making a new design of commutator for dynamo electric machines or motors. Now, let's check whether the objectives of Nikola Tesla were fulfilled or not. Here, we can see that the short-circuiting and breaking of the armature coil connected to the commutator segments occur at the same instant. And from the nature of construction, this will be done with the greatest precision. When there is a short circuit, there will be a sudden decrease of current in the armature coil because now the entire current will bypass the coil and flow through the metallic segments only. This happens because the segments have large cross-section area and small length as compared to coils. Therefore, it offers less resistance to the current. And when there is a break, there will be a sudden increase of current in the armature coil because now the entire current will flow through the coil. This sudden change of current, whether it is sudden decrease or sudden increase, gives rise to self-induction phenomenon. Due to this self-induction, a high-voltage EMF is produced. This high-voltage EMF can cause sparking. But here the short circuit and the brake produce opposite effects in the armature of the coil, and due to these opposite effects, there will be a suppression of spark. We can also see that the duration of both the short circuit and the brake are reduced to a minimum. This results in diminishing the destructive effect of the spark since this would be in a measure proportion to the duration of the sparks. So Tesla's first objective was fulfilled. Now, lessening the duration of the short circuit increases the efficiency of the machine because now there is almost a continuous flow of current through the coil. So Tesla's fourth objective has been fulfilled. We can also see that the small spring pushes the insulating segment down as they wear, and the metal segment can be easily moved just by loosening one screw. So Tesla's second objective has been fulfilled. Now, with a slight change in design, we can power more than one coil at the same time. This makes the construction of very large dynamo electric machine practicable with this commutator design. And note, we have not added any extra commutator segments here. We have just split the previous commutator segment. So Tesla's third objective has been fulfilled. 